Howdy folks, Mark Serbu, gun designer, gun nut. You might remember this video from a while back where I was welding up BFG 50 bolts. Something that happens during the TIG welding process on a heat treatable alloy steel like this is that the actual weld joint gets heat treated. It gets hardened and it gets very hard. So why does this happen? Well, you're heating a heat treatable alloy steel past what's called the austenization point and then you're quenching it. The quench happens with the argon gas the TIG welder blows out on it. It's not an ideal quench, but it's certainly enough to make the material harden. Is this a big deal? Well, it can be, but in our case, it's not. Because these bolts go to heat treat and get hardened to a Rockwell number that we specify. There is one little issue, and I talked about it in that old welding video, and that's when we machine these things, it's really hard on the tooling. The carbide insert doesn't like going from fairly soft material to that hardened stripe back to soft material again. It's, it's like interrupted cuts, which uh, tungsten inserts don't like at all. Well, today when we were running these parts, I finally said, you know what, let's go and temper these things in the heat treat oven and see if that makes a difference. Off the top of my head, I knew that 1100 degrees Fahrenheit would put us somewhere in the low Rockwell C30 range. Too bad we don't have a heat-o vision. It is freaking hot right here. Ooh. I put these parts in the oven when I started it, so they went along for the ride as the heat went all the way up to 1100 degrees. And because they're already up to temperature, I only had to leave it there for 10 minutes or so. So obviously, not tempered back and tempered back. Very obvious difference. And here's one that I already ran. And the main thing you notice here is, see how you can see a difference in where the weld was right there. And you can't see it here. You can kind of see where the pin is, but that's got a different issue going on. There's actually a stainless pin in there, and I think it leaches some stainless. I don't want to theorize. I'm sure some of the metallurgists can uh, can talk about it, but uh, but you see, there's a very obvious difference in the materials here. This is all nice and uh, nice and even looking. Is it not focusing again? <laughs> Should I yell it, folks? Yeah, very obvious where that you can even see the start and stops on the welds. It's it feels smooth. You can't feel it, feel it, but you can certainly see it. Uh, interesting. So I'm going to show you the difference in running these. God dang this iPhone just sucks at focusing. It wants to focus on everything but what I want to focus on. Okay, so here you go, folks. Come on, what the hell? Uh, let me take my time focusing. All right, here we go. Oh, how does it work with the door open? Huh. Didn't bypass the safety feature. Didn't bypass the safety features, did you? Nah, I'd never do that. Uh, one thing I'm gonna do. Shoot. Um, I'm going to uh, speed this up. Uh, I was going just a mees. Come on, 600 RPM. I was going 1200. So. Do this. Uh, now you know what, I'm going to start over. I don't want to tempt fate with this crappy stuff. Come on, is it that hard to focus? I mean, it's right here in front of you. All right, let's see. Here we go. Push button. Things happen. I'm pushing a foot pedal down here. Jaws move in and out. And here we go. Can't see squat, but things are happening, trust me. Here, we'll just turn this off so you can look at it. Uh -huh. Oh, 
Oh no, you wouldn't want to focus on what I want you to focus on. Uh, that one doesn't look as beautiful as the other one, but it's not bad. Let's try another one. Danger Will Robinson. All right. happening in there. Yeah. Oh yeah, just switch camera lenses. Just got a couple more of these to go. Very fast process. Now we found that before doing this heat treatment, the tempering process, the uh, inserts on the tool we're lasting like maybe between 5 and 13 parts. It's really terrible. Yeah, it's a very tough, uh, you know, it's a tungsten carbide insert coated, but it just, uh, you know, it gets abused. Uh, tungsten inserts don't like uh, interrupted cuts and having something that's super hard and then not hard, you know, going from different hardnesses is, is kind of the same as interrupted cuts as far as the insert is concerned. But look at that. Beautiful. Yeah, you don't want to run with your door open because, God, you know, you could just be tempted to stick your hand in there and get it crushed because everybody wants to do that. You couldn't depend on your common sense to just keep your goddamn hands out of the machine, that could you? Yeah, that's too much to ask. Of course, there are some pretty funny, uh, funny videos on the internet of like people getting wrapped up in the lathe and getting, like I saw this one, I think it was in China. The guy got his clothing stuck, he's like, Ugh. and it's a big shaft that was being turned on, a huge lathe, and then all of a sudden he just, he just went in the machine, it just flopped him around, and he just, it just pulverized him into nothing. Like chunks were flying across the room, and the co workers like, ah, but, yeah. That's the other end of the scale. Last one, and look, look what it looks like. I don't even know if the camera's focusing, oh, focusing but I'm sure it is because the iPhone's great at looking at stuff. Can you see that? So we have to fill that all up with weld and kind of overdo it and then we machine it back down. Well, what do we have here? I just realized my employee who's running this earlier, he's like blowing this off like crazy. Making all this noise, and I realized I don't even blow the things off, so. The Griffin, don't blow them up and waste your time. All right, now these are not tempered, and obviously a huge difference in color as we already saw. But I'm gonna I'm gonna slow it back down because uh, it just killed the insert right away. Another thing, uh, when the employee sets up Griffin, <coughs> sets these jaws up shouldn't have it so there's so much gap there because look how slow these things move. You're trying to save time. You want these things so they're just there's just enough room for this to get in here. So not, don't have to wait for the jaws to come in because they're about as quick as molasses.
can hear it a lot slower. I'm gonna zoom in. Now look at the difference. It's a lot different. Yeah, see how long that takes? get wet if you do that wrong. For some reason the coolant just wants to spray on you. I guess it's a punishment. Punishment for screwing up. the ones I just ran definitely see how nice and smooth and homogenous these are compared to these it's still I mean you feel it it's absolutely smooth and once these are parkerized you'll never see uh, any kind of difference in them but this is definitely a lot easier on the tool ah, interesting we uh, we may end up tempering all of them in the future I don't know we'll see Well, I'm glad I finally got to do this. I've been wanting to do it for a long time. You know, tempering back the hardness to see if it would get rid of that crazy, super hard part that the welding did. You know, I knew it would, but, uh, you know, how much makes a difference. But this is a great illustration of the trade-offs we have to deal with in uh, manufacturing. Uh, you know, the, the insert's only lasting between, you know, what is it, four and, and seven parts. It's terrible. Um, but those inserts are about 30 bucks, and they've got six good edges on them, so... And they take two minutes to change out, but you do have to run the part slower. Uh, so, you know, is it worth it to spend an, an hour per, I don't know, in our little oven, it's probably an hour for every um, probably 20 parts tops. You know, it's it's probably worth it to just run it the way we, we've been running it with them super hard and killing the inserts, but realizing that the inserts aren't that expensive and they don't take that long to change. Well, that's it, folks. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this look at uh, one of the dilemmas we have to face and uh, kind of a cool little problem I got to solve. Don't forget to subscribe or subscribe again since YouTube may have dumped you. <laughs> and give us a like and tell all your friends. Thanks. Appreciate you. Catch you next time.